your day is jam-packed and you a lot of days don't even have time to breathe we make people go for breaks but like a lot of them don't want to take them because they're like i i can't i'm too busy so yeah so it's 12 hours of non-stop work it sounds like morale has never been lower oh the worst i've ever seen in my career people are definitely burnt out Like, there's no doubt about it. And I feel bad for the nurses who are just starting out their careers, especially during COVID. And it's just like total chaos. It's hard for them to properly learn the right things to do. Because a lot of these like skills and tasks are things that you may have read about in school or, you know, read in your textbook. You might have done in a lab, but you've never done it firsthand. And here you are, you have to do it. And you're looking for people to support you. And everyone is so busy that nobody has the time to be like, all right, I'll properly show you. So I feel like those new nurses are like missing out. How do you feel at the end of a shift? Exhausted, frustrated, annoyed that people don't don't care. Because like when you're having these conversations about being short staffed and overworked and you might not get a break in 12 hours, I often, I would say nine times out of 10, I'm staying late. I never get out of there on time. If I get a break, it's like 10 minutes. And the people that you're talking to, trying to get answers and people to come and help you, they always just answer like, I hear you. Do you feel like nothing's ever done? And it's typical to just, that to like the norm is just to work short now. Like they basically just like put your concerns aside and just tell you like, oh, you're doing a great job. And I'm like, I don't want a pat on the shoulder. Like give me people to help. Do you believe that you and other nurses are being forced to work in conditions that could put your license at risk? Absolutely. I wouldn't say every day. There are situations that we certainly get put in that you're like, this isn't safe. And then you tell people and they're just kind of like, well, do your best. And it's like, well, I'm telling you that this isn't safe. We need help. We need support. And like I said before, you reach out to those who are supposed to support you and you're basically being told, I'm sorry, I have no staff. What do you do? Who do you turn to then? You know, you file these reports and clinical capacity reports and stuff and those go to management. But like the times that we fill those out, you feel like the responses that our manager gives are just like, are you joking? Like this is a joke. So then people don't want to fill them out because they see no benefit to it and it's more paperwork like it's time consuming we've already spent 12 hours at work or more but i just feel like everybody is so burnt out from the bottom up like no matter where you fall on the spectrum of healthcare, you feel like you're in a constant battle with everybody whether it's like nurse versus doctor or nurse and management or doctor and management like everybody is just in a fight or flight mode And it's been going on for so long now that it just like creates this hostile environment. Can you tell me a little bit about how you've seen the profession change? Patients are sicker. I feel there's less support now than there ever was. You just kind of like go and most days are totally chaotic. But I'm like, we've had lots of patients who should have had surgeries during the pandemic. Now it's two years later and they're still waiting because they shut down like the elective procedures. So things that probably could have been prevented are now not. They're getting surgeries that they probably could have had more minimal and minimally invasive things done when now it's more like, okay, you need an amputation now. 